Hey guys, here I'm Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to show you guys a very cool launcher I've been using for the last four or five days already, and I've been liking it. It's called Everything.me Launcher. Everything.me Launcher, it's supposed to be like a dynamic launcher that learns from your pattern of usage. Um, like you see over here, you're going to see this bar over here that you can't remove. It's like a searching bar. Over here, the um, this clock actually comes with the um, launcher, but of course you could go ahead and move it anywhere you want. But I keep it over here just as, since it was right there by default. When you first install this launcher and you start using it, it's going to create a whole bunch of folders. Folders there, it's going to create folders here and maybe your folders over here. Uh, folders over here, I removed them and put them over here. That way I could have my uh, home screen clean like I like it. Um, one thing, um, it looks simple when you look, go to the draw, when you go to widgets, everything looks just like the default stock Android, which is a great feature. Um, it has one, two, three, I think five home screens. And one thing that this um, launcher doesn't has is like a settings for the launcher. Um, that's one thing that it doesn't has this um, the launcher of course it's in beta so over here you got the options for beta feedback you go ahead and give some feedback to the developer but you have the options here when you tap and hold the screen you got the option to add apps to the screen add smart folders which is one of my favorite features of this launcher and widgets uh, wallpaper and open settings go takes you to the default um, settings of your phone uh, one thing over here, let's show you guys how this works. Um, anything that you search right there, what's in your mind? Like for example, let's say I search for uh, Nexus 7 right there. I automatically got it there. So when you search for it, it's going to search, of course, on Google. And it's going to give you an image there of the, the, of the thing that you search for. Also, all these little round looking apps are actually results from Google. Uh, they look like little apps, but they're actually results from Google. If you tap on one of them, let's say for example in Gadget, they're all going to take you to whatever article it's talking about the Nexus 7. Um, same thing here, if I go to Amazon, it's going to take me to the Amazon store where they're selling the Nexus 7. Over here, you got a couple websites where they're reviewing the Nexus 7, which is very, very cool. I like the way it looks. You can also keep on um, looking at your phone. You can go to your browser. You could go ahead and use Flipboard, and this will still be there unless you tap over here, right, or, or tap back or tap here home screen and it takes you back to the normal um, you can also search for people for example let's say I search for John Cena no <laughs> John Cena uh, there it is so I search for John Cena and you get his image right there in the background you also get an app why because um, you can find information from John Cena in one of the apps that you have like for example IMDB because he's done a couple movie same thing if you search for any other artist always the IMDB app or any other app that is like a movie app right will be appear there too um, here you also gonna get the results over here like for example Wikipedia you take to Wikipedia it will take you to the mobile brow um, site of Wikipedia with all his info and everything which is awesome that's very very cool I love that another great feature of this web um, launcher is the folders um, they call it smart folders and believe me they are smart um, when you first install this launcher it's gonna create lots and lots of folders like I said and every folder is gonna be named by by category right social over here and automatically it's gonna put every single app all the apps that relate to social into the social um, folder like you see there it, and you also gonna have suggestions over here so you get your apps you're always gonna see your apps and you're always gonna see suggestions of other apps that social apps that you might not have same thing here if I go to games you're gonna see all your games and like you see in the background you also get an image that relates to the name of the folder and of course you're gonna get a lot of other suggestions um, same thing over here if I go to music gives me like a, a woman with a headphones you can see all my music apps and here you can see 
other music apps that's recommended if i tap on one of them it should take me maybe to the website or it should take me sometimes it takes you to the app store so you could download it but that's very very cool um another thing that i like is that for example if there's an app that's not in the folder like for example let's go ahead and download a game i don't have here let's go and download um, um subway surfer let's go ahead and set and download uh, the great thing about this, the folders on this launcher is that every single app that you download, it will automatically um, put it in a folder, which that relates to the app that you download. That's a great feature if you are like me that I love to you know keep my apps in folders. Okay, that's finished. Let's go to the home screen. Let's go. Let's go to the home screen so I can show you guys the whole process. I launch a game there. Now uh, keep in mind this launcher is in beta so if you find some bugs and, um, and anything there you know just keep in mind it's in beta also let the developer know that it has this problem or that problem that way he could deal deal with it uh, over here let's go now to games and look at that the game that I just downloaded Subway Surfer is right there right in the folder that's an awesome awesome feature that totally wins my heart Okay, so now let's say I want to create one of those smart folders. Let's go ahead and choose smart folders. Here you got all the categories, all the names. You can by default name the folders. Let's go ahead and choose travel. If I choose travel and click done, automatically you see the folder created and with a couple of apps already in the folder. So I click that and look at that. So automatically shows me um, Expedia, Maps, and Earth that's already on my phone. And the other suggestions over here, which is very, very cool, very convenient. I love it. Uh, that's a very cool feature of this app. So that's the way this app works. Love it. Very simple. Keeps it, keeps it everything simple. And like I said, very useful. So guys, I hope you guys liked the video. This was a look at everything.me launcher for Android. Till next time, guys.